so um, I need some help with self-sabotage. You want me to help you self-sabotage yourself? <laughs> no, I'm doing a pretty good job on my own, please. Okay. So. <laughs> well, I can do that. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 that's good. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty powerful in that respect, apparently, lately. Um, okay, so this is in regards to business opportunities. I've been able to manifest some really great opportunities and unconsciously have self-sabotage. So, for instance, um, I got an opportunity on the weekend to pitch on, like, during a, like an online summit. Mm -hmm. um, and so they were, like, randomly picking people. So they picked me, and it was on Zoom. I was on my phone, and they couldn't unmute me. Like, and I'm like, what is up with that? Like, wow. I've used this all the time. And then last night, they were re, they had another session where you could, pitch some other podcasters this is for podcasters you could pitch some other podcasters so I got on and I got picked again and Shiraz I went down in such screaming flames it was like I was I was like feeling sorry for the people watching me go down <laughs> and I mean I know ne I've never it's been literally years since I have done that bad of a nosedive to the point where I just stopped talking so it was like that. And I'm thinking, wow, okay. I'm Because I'm consciously trying to up level mm -hmm. to the next level of visibility. And, you know, my gut instinct is, okay, I might still not want to be seen. So can you help me with whatever needs to get cleared so I can? Because I've got, I'm actually being interviewed on a podcast tomorrow and a live radio show in the next week. So I'd like to clear whatever it is that's sabotaging myself so that I can be of service to the most people I can on those calls. Okay. So what's that next level of visibility look like? Ow! What the fuck? What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know. Oh, sorry. <laughs> um... I'm getting comfortable with like the, the the level of the visibility I currently have. So for mm -hmm. me, up leveling is okay. So instead of talking to you know ten to a hundred people, I want to go to a thousand, ten thousand. You know, I was in I was at an event at the ACC uh, this weekend. And every time I'm in one of those big arenas, I always look out at the crowd and envision myself on a stage looking out on the crowd, mm -hmm. saying, okay, so there's where I wanna be. I wanna be on that stage talking to, you know, 50,000 people. So that's my big vision. What are they gonna see when you're up on that stage? Oof. Visually, uh, you know, Hopefully what they see is authenticity and a huge open heart in helping them move towards what they want. How much of you are they going to see? Pardon? How much of you are they going to see? <sighs> At this moment, probably... 80% and it's funny because I've started putting on weight just I'm doing the exact same thing that like I'm eating what I'm normally eating and I, I probably put on 15 pounds I'm thinking okay am, am I trying to hide again like am I putting mm -hmm. on barriers or whatever so how do I just you know step up to my full person or full -ness? <laughs> so do you have to keep them from seeing what you don't want them to see Yeah, I guess there's pieces there that I want to, um, you know, some pieces are private pieces as opposed to public pieces. Yeah. And this is a, a thing is the more and more we come, become visible, the more and more the private stuff starts to, to leak out there. And uh, when you're worried about what everyone's going to think about your private thing, you're going to 
you're going to limit your visibility. So you have to look at it this way. Suppose your whole life gets exposed and then it's just out there. Now everyone knows. At that point, does it matter? Well, at that point, I, you know, if there's things that I'm not, I don't want to share at that point. If it's out, it's out. You just need to, you know, say, okay, there you go, right? Yeah. <laughs> Look at it this way. How much stress and pressure is on you after your whole life has just been exposed and it's been out there for a while? It's gone. It's gone. Yeah. So this, and this is what happens is we, we get so worried about what, what we don't want to people to see and what the reactions are. Uh, that we, we get into this place where, okay, I don't want anyone to see anything. But if you go to the other side of that, it's like, well, what if they do? And then, you know, they'll, there'll be a bunch of judgment and then they'll get over the judgment. They'll move on to something else. Right. Then, then you're good to go. Right. So if you're willing to go through that period of judgment and, and then just come out the other side, you, you're willing to go through anything. Right. And, and here's the thing, is that judgment's going to occur whatever you do. Absolutely. Right? And judgment's going to occur on you and things that aren't you, whatever you do. How many times do you hear people like talk about some latest scandal with someone and then later on find out there was nothing, to, nothing about it that was true? So this is just stuff that happens <laughs> in life. And when, you're, when you get over the whole judgment thing and just say, look, I'm just going to go out there and do what I love. I'm going to go and create this, this business, this change, um, whatever, whatever is going on in your life, these courses, this book, these presentations, and I'm just going to enjoy myself. Then, you know, let them have their judgment. It's not going to affect who I am. It's not going to affect what I want to do. So are you willing to destroy the belief that you need to hide everything you don't want anyone to see? No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, ask again. Okay. Are you willing to destroy the belief that you need to hide everything you don't want everyone to see? Yeah. Wow. Still so no. Yes. <coughs> it's where you just want to go with this is it's not like you go and you actively say, Hey, here's something from my past that I that I really embarrassed about, and you just sort of throw it out there. I, I don't talk about everything in my life to, uh, to people, but if people say, oh, I just found out this about you, if it's true, I'm like, yeah. So deal with it. And, you know, I let them have their judgments. I let them be wherever they want to be, and I continue going on with my life. You know, it was really weird yesterday, and I thought I had gotten over this, and it, like, smacked me really in the face during this pitch that I was doing, is... In the past, when I've done presentations, I was, oh, people are looking at me, people are staring at me, I get really anxious, and like my voice would start shaking, and it was all about me focusing on me and being in my head. And there was an epiphany I had as opposed, as opposed to it's about me. It was, you know, how can I be in service? And all of that just dissipated, and now I'm excited to go out and do what I do. And last night, for some reason, all of a sudden, it was all about me again. And I'm like, I thought I dealt with this. Where the hell did that come back from? Mm -hmm. so, and and that can happen when you're, you're on a show. Like so, sometimes when we get on these shows, we stop, we stop behaving the way we usually do when we're, we're doing workshops and stuff because we're like, oh, it's a bigger audience, so I've got to impress some people. I've got to look, I look, I look like I know my shit. Yeah. But 
you know, if you can say, you know, I'm just going to do what I usually do because I know that works, then that causes a lot more flow. I, mean, I, I, I got taken aback yesterday actually in the workshop because, uh, you know, it's my workshops and it's all about uh, working with people and participating. And I'm like, okay, who wants to get work on next? And there's no hands going up. And I'm like, I have to talk? Wait, what? <laughs> I have to actually come up with content for this thing? Oh, dear God. <laughs> and there was that slight moment of panic. It's like, okay, what the hell am I actually going to say? But then I just said, you know what? You've been doing this for years. doesn't matter. Just get, just get back into flow and just start talking and everything just went smoothly. So what happened for you in that moment when you started to panic? Like, what was your panic about? I took, I, I suddenly have to come up with content when I've never had to come up with content at this point in a workshop before, because everyone's just saying, work on me, work on me, work on me. So then I, I was just like, okay, wait, you've done this for years. The content is there. You're going into a slight panic, which is causing you to block the content. Take a breath let it show up again and then it did so in that moment you remembered um in that moment i let go and and it just caused me to reconnect with source and all the information just started getting downloaded again and it, and if you're not if that's not something you do it is yeah in that moment you start to remember when you get back into ease you take that breath and just allow yourself to get into ease let let the environment go let the people go let the situation go and just get back into you, everything just starts to show up again. The flow occurs. Okay, that's helpful. Um, is there anything else around self-sabotage? Uh, yeah, it's still, there's still a bit on what's on the other end of this. Like if you, if you get selected and you do this great pitch, what's on the other side of it? Yeah, true. True. Like, oh, do I need to travel? Oh, does this happen? Oh, what needs to happen next? Like ah, the, the doing pieces as opposed to, oh, that's so exciting. You know, I don't know what's going to happen. This is, this is like, it's going to be perfect. It's going to be awesome. So are you trying to keep yourself on this side? of what happens next. Apparently so. Okay. Are you willing to destroy the belief that it's better to stay on this side where it's safe? Yes. <laughs> it's where I'm ready, it's time, I want to expand and reach bigger audience and help more people and just, you know, have these other cool experiences. Cool. All right. How do you feel? More grounded. All right. Cool. Okay. Thank you. So Welcome. Much. Hey, this is Shiraz. Thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, please remember to like and subscribe to our channel. And you can check out upcoming events at www.energeticmagic.com. And remember, be well, be aware, and be magical.